the Goa Peninsula in South Wales was the first region to be recognised as an area of outstanding natural beauty, which today extends to many other places in the UK. Therefore, like national parks, it is protected from unsightly development and fortunately much of the coastline is now owned by the National Trust. However, scenic areas like Gower get busy. Therefore, the photographer needs to time their visit very carefully. After an absence of several years, I finally paid a visit in October 2017, before the school's half-term break. I went midweek. Indeed, when I left on the Friday, the roads into Gower were already starting to get busy. I almost had the place to myself, finding accommodation easy. It was also refreshing to realise that my memories of Gower from many years ago hadn't changed much. The scenery still just as glorious. One of those glories is Rossilli Bay, a breathtaking wide sweep of sand and sea. Come in summer and you probably won't get into the car park, but I still took the bus for my October visit. It is a downhill walk to the beach, probably the reason for the lack of people. And if you are thinking of walking to the other end, allow plenty of time. It is a long way. The perspective, that view from the hilltop, it is very deceptive. Initially, this is a wide-angle lens drop on aperture priority f8 or 11 to give you good depth of field. And here I use the Olympus 12 to 100 Pro lens at extreme wide angle for much of the time. Nevertheless, I didn't forget the telephoto end. Using Worm's head as a focal point, I narrowed the perspective, now on shutter priority, and although the waves were quite placid, their impact has been amplified. But it is the big view that photographers go for, and because of the rake of the beach, a waves appear in synchronization, and so do some obliging sheep. However, you might have that perfect viewpoint and a fantastic camera with technique oozing from your fingertips, but the whole scenario can go downhill with the wrong sort of sun. Distant clarity is essential for this view, helped by an October sun now closer to the horizon, adding a subtle sculpting to the views. If you stay on the cliff, or even if you don't, it is worth popping into St. Mary's Church, followed by a level walk to Worm's Head, which can be accessed, but your stay will be much longer if you misjudge the tide, as Dylan Thomas once did. I decided not to risk it, continuing around the headland to more striking cliff scenery, before cutting across country back to the village. I returned in July the following year. Although clear, the sun, now directly overhead, intensified the colours, making them look, well, <laughs> rather chocolate box. October is a favourite period for landscapes, not just for autumn tints, but for the quality of light when the so-called um, golden hour lasts a bit longer. 
I indulged in that activity early morning and evening back at my lodgings at Port Anon, when I experienced many peaceful moments of pure magic.